Well, we all know early detection is extremely important when it comes to skin cancer. Yeah, Dan Manorino took a trip to Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center to learn about a cutting edge technology that's really helping doctors detect and diagnose the disease much sooner when it's most curable. And that's the key there. Yeah, and it's really incredible stuff. Now, you've heard the word avatar mentioned when you're playing video games or even in movies. Well, sure. now you'll hear it associated with cancer care. That's thanks to a technique called 3D total body photography, which creates a three dimensional avatar of a patient to help detect melanoma. Now that's the most serious form of skin cancer. And with this being beach season, it's really something to think about. It's officially summer, and that means beaches, sunbathing, swimming, time for those family vacations, right? But hold on one second. It's also time to talk skin care. Exposure to the sun's harmful rays is a major risk factor for developing melanoma, the most lethal form of skin cancer. Melanomas are usually dark spots. They look like a mole. And if not caught early, melanoma unfortunately has a very high likelihood of spreading elsewhere in the body, what we call metastasizing and killing patients. Dr. Alan Halpern at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center is introducing a new 3D technology to detect melanoma before it becomes serious. Take your arms like this, fingertips together, looking up at the top camera, eyes closed, one, two, three. And with that flash, 46 cameras go off at once to create a 3D image of you. These are patients who are at very high risk for developing melanoma who have lots of moles. And our goal here is to make sure that we find any changing spot before it has the chance to become something that can kill them. It's the first of its kind and it's able to track moles all over the 3D movable image of your body. We're just going to go over the entire back in comparison to what it used to look like and make sure that there are no individual spots that seem to have changed. We can pick this spot on your back over here and then look at exactly what it looked like back in the day. So instead of just removing a benign non-cancerous mole, doctors can now track the entire skin surface for any changes to moles instantly. This is just a much more efficient way to do it. Reducing the number of biopsies in high-risk patients who are now eligible for this technology. A person who is high-risk may have more than 50 moles, among other signs. The risk of developing skin cancer goes up with age, but in fact, the people who are the best candidates for this are people who are at increased risk because they've either personally had a melanoma or there's a very strong family history of melanoma in two or more blood relatives. And patients have no doubt loved the new technology. From the patient's perspective, it's been immediately obvious to them that this is indeed a leap forward. It's been exciting to see how excited the patients themselves are. Exciting indeed. It's certainly incredible technology. Now, to learn more about the melanoma screening and surveillance, you can go to mskcc.org right there on your screen. We'll also have the information on our website, pix 11 Dot com, but no doubt incredible technology. Yeah, really? early detection, that's the key yeah, for it. always. So. And don't forget to wear sunscreen, of course, while you're out there in the sun. There you go, Dan. Good stuff. Thank you.